Today I am going to explain embedded C basics lab programs. Uh, this is actually VTU syllabus. Now today I am going to explain the first program which is a uh, write a embedded C program to multiply two 16 bit numbers. So for this uh, experiment we are using uh, Keel software. So you need to download Keel from the keel.com. Uh, download tab and uh, you have to close products. So uh, this is for ARM. This is for 8051 microcontroller. So it is a development tool for all 8051 device. So you need to download this. After downloading and installing, uh, once you open, So there is an icon will be there in the desktop you have to open it. So it will open all the previously open programs. So you need to create a new project. Close previous project and you can create new project. Project, new project and you can give some name. If you want to replace the same name. Uh, if you want to create new, give the new name or you can uh, overwriting that same project and you can it will ask for select device for target so directly type here 8089C51 so it is uh, microchips you can see the description it is 8051 fully static 24 megahertz CMOS controller with 32 Ibarro lines 4 kilobytes of flash memory, 128 uh, on chip RAM, uh, 2 timers, 6 interrupts, and all. You can see the description. Click OK. It will ask for copy startup file. Click Yes. If already one project is there, it will ask for already exist and overwrite. Click Yes. Otherwise, it will simply add. Now we can see in the target project. Source group one, we have startup file which is already included by uh, that software tool itself. Now we have to add our own file. So, left side it is actually project window, uh, right down one is actually build output. You can see the output here, and uh, this is actually editor will come. Uh, if you double click this, it will open. You can see the startup file, what is there inside the startup file. So now actually we have to write uh, the actual program. So right click add new item to the source group. We are adding C file and uh, we are using, we are writing a program for multiplying two 16 bit numbers. So I will give file name as uh, multi, multiply two 16 bit, 16 bit nums. Click add, automatically it will add extension dot C and here you can type the program so hash include register 51.header h header file so it will include all the register declarations uh, used in 8051 microcontroller void main open bracket and close bracket uh, open the bracket then while one we have to declare unsigned int num1 and num2 so int uh, uh, size is actually 16 bit long int is 32 bit so product we are declaring as 32 bit and num1 and num2 are 16 bits and you can give initialize the num1 and num2 to any value the maximum value you can give in 16 bit is all the 16 bits are 1111 you can group those four uh, four four bits as fffff similarly number two is also fffff that is the maximum value you can give after that product is equal to unsigned long int of num1 into num2. So we are going to perform multiplication here. So this is actually comment. If you write two slash lines, this is just a comment uh, to state that these two are numbers, first number and second number. And here it is performing multiplication. You can check the output uh, here only, product uh, variable only or you can also display in the ports okay port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 four ports are available we can display in 
quotes also. So now, the first I'll explain this uh, how it is going to display. The size of each port is actually 8 bit only. So if you multiply two 16 bit numbers, actually 32 bit is the answer. So uh, LSB, the first byte is actually, uh, you can uh, end with the product is having actually 32 bit uh, value. You can end that product with the left side zeros. And last two bits are FF, last eight bits are 11111. So that is grouped as FF. And it is going to mask all the higher bytes only lower byte will be uh, retained and that is sent to port 0. Similarly, next uh, product value is ended with, uh, first 8 bits are ended with 0, uh, next 8 bits are ended with 1111 and left side also ended with 000. So only a second byte, okay, out of uh, 4 bytes, first byte we send it to port 0, next to, uh, byte is ended with uh, this value and right shift this is the arrow mark is then a right side arrow mark that is going to shift this entire after the you are doing if after performing a product ended with this is the logical and operation okay all the bits are become zero only second byte okay positions are left and uh, they are if you right shift by eight times it will also come to the lsp Okay, uh, first byte position it will come from the second byte, it will come to first position. From that, those 8 bits you can send it to port 1. Similarly, port 2, the third bit, third byte. Okay, so to end the first byte with 0, second byte also with 0, third byte you have to end with uh, 1111, that is nothing but FF, and you have to shift entire after end operation, you have to shift 16 times so that this. Uh, third byte will come to the first byte position and after coming to that you have to send it to port 2 similarly last byte okay again you have to end with the uh, uh, last byte position with uh, ff and you have to shift 24 times so that this ff will come to this position and you have to send it to port 3 because in uh, the size of port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 only 8 bits you can send so that's why these four steps are performed. If you don't want to send it to ports, then you can stop the program here only. Product is equal to there only. You can stop and you can check the output in product. Okay, that is left to you. So now I'll uh, once you type the program, you have to build. So build. This is a button. Once you build, it will show if there is an error or not. Showing syntax error near line number 17. So you have to here put on bracket. Okay, check it and uh, now there is no errors. If no errors are there, there is no errors. Now you have to start debug. This is the debug button. So now you can, I told no. So you have to open call stack plus locals. It is available here. This button. You can observe here. Call stack window will go. If I click, it will open. Here you can see num1, num2 and product. See first uh, num1 is initialized, you can observe here also. After this you have to execute step by step. So this is a step over F10 you have to press or you can click this. So first uh, whatever happens, the arrow mark is here. Now we are debugging mode. The pointer is pointing to this. So once I press this step over, it will perform num1 is initialized with FFFF. See, num1 is loaded with FFFF. Next, num2 is loaded with FFFF. This is the maximum value. See, uh, the type is unsigned int. U int means unsigned int. Unsigned int. The maximum value is it is uh, 16 bits. So, all are given with 1111. So, 
FFFF, here also FFF. U long means unsigned long, it is 32 bit. Okay, each is hexadecimal. Okay, these four, this is four, this is four, this is four. There are eight hexadecimal. Uh, eight into four is 32 bit. So it is 32 bit. Here it is uh, four ones, four ones, four ones, four ones. So maximum all the bits are th all the 16 bits are one 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 only. So it is represented as hexadecimal FFFF. So product of 16 and 16 is 32 bit. So that's why we have to declare product as unsigned long. So now uh, here only uh, now it is going to perform product is equal to unsigned long of num1 into num2 this is star so it is going to perform multiplication of num1 and num2 and the answer will be loaded to product see it's coming here you can check the uh, calculator whether your answer is correct or not you can go to scientific programmer you should you have to go to programmer mode then select hexadecimal and you have to multiply f f f f into f f f f 16 bit into 16 bit answer is f f f e 0 0 0 1 this is the expected output let us check whether this same answer is coming or not. See here, F F F E zero 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 one. So now I told no. Uh, you have to open peripheral. Actually, this is sufficient. Okay, this is sufficient. You can verify your output. The additional part is if you want, you can send these answers to ports also. If you connect the ports to LEDs, you can uh, get the output. Peripherals, I bar of ports, port 0, you can see how many bits are there. Only in one port, you can display 8 bits. Okay. Similarly, port 2, port 1. Open peripherals, port 2. Peripheral ports. Okay. So now I am going to display this FFFE0001 in the ports. The size of each port is actually only 8 bit only you can display. The first uh, byte is 01. 01 should come here. So I have to mask uh, this uh, remaining 6 uh, bit, uh, six uh, digits. So another 3 bytes we have to mask it. So left side it is uh, actually 0000. zero, zero, zero. Okay, only last uh, 8 bits are 1111111, that is 8. So, if you do AND operation with uh, 1, uh, it is you are going to retain only these 2 bits. Okay, if the that part is 1, AND operation is what? 1 into 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and it with 0 is 0. So, if you want to retain, if previously if 1 is there, okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, no? that 1 into 1, 1 and 1 is 1 only. So all other bits becomes zero. So we are going to send uh, this uh, one here. Okay, zero one. We are going to get here. See, it's coming zero one. All other bits are actually masked here. Now I want to mask the first byte also. Zero one also I have to mask, and last two bytes also I have to mask. Only second byte zero zero should come here. So for that you have to and the product value with uh, ff00 so left side also you can add a uh, four zeros here okay and after that you have to write shift by eight because it will display only a uh, lower byte here so the size of bit is only eight bits so you have to bring it to you have to bring the you have to shift this uh, second byte into first byte position so that's why you have to write shift entire content by eight times after that you are going to display here second byte is 00, zero. the third byte is fe third byte is fe so you have to end with third byte ff first byte is zero second byte is zero and fourth byte is also zero after and you have to write shift by 16 
you have to write it by 16. Now, this byte is coming as Fe and last byte is FF. So, last byte, first byte is ended with 0, second byte is ended with 0, third byte is also ended with 0, fourth byte is ended with FF and right shift by 24 so that the fourth byte sh should come to first byte position. Okay. So, after that, we can display here. So, answer is FF, FE, 0001. So now, if you want, you can verify with uh, other answer also, other data also. So for that, uh, you cannot modify here only. So you have to stop the debug mode. Now, debug mode is stopped. If you want, you can verify answer with uh, different values. For example, I take 2, 2, 2, 2. And I will take this as some higher value as some... Um, B, 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 B. Any values you can take. Okay. Again, you have to save it. Build target. Start debug. Once you start debug, previously, if any ports are open, it will automatically open. In the last uh, uh, compilation and uh, the last debug, I opened the four ports. Automatically, it will open that also and it will show here. Now, the expected output is. We are multiplying with the 2, 2, 2, 2 multiplied with B, 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 B. What is expected answer? You can see 1907CD D6. So, first byte is D6, it will be displayed on port 0. C, port 1, uh, port 1 should display C4, port 2 should display 07, port 3 should display 19 okay now 2222 okay now it went to decimal that's why 2222 into 1907c4d6 so now let us verify it so first number is loaded with Two two two. You can observe in the number one. It's coming. Second, B B B B. And you can verify the output here only. One nine zero seven C four D six. Now you can stop here only. This is additional part. If you want, you can continue with this. Otherwise, you can stop after this product only. You can stop. So now. Let us verify the same output is shifting here to ports also or not. See, D6 is coming here. C4 is coming here. 07 is coming here. And 19 is coming here. 1907 C4 D6 is coming here. So like that you can modify the value of num1 and num2. And we are giving 16 bit numbers. Okay. And we are getting 32 bit answer. Okay. Thank you.